Hey, what is up mortals? It is AC here, and before we get into today's video, there is something I'd like to say. I'd like to let you all know that we have a merch store. Some of the items in it are only available for a limited amount of time, so if you're interested, go into the description and check it out. Each purchase helps us make more content. Now with that out of the way, let's get into video. This what if will be the first in a series of seven different what ifs called the seven deadly Deku series where Izuku will be reimagined as one of the sins or more accurately a descendant of one of the sins. Today we'll be focusing on a what if Deku was the goat sin of lust or more broadly if he had the personality and powers of Galther from the seven deadly sins in the My Hero Academia world. Also please note since Izuku won't be a doll in this what if he will instead be a high-functioning autistic, since by today's standards, Gauther would have most likely been considered to be autistic. His design will also be thinner than he is in canon, have Gauther's symbol on his chest, and he will also need glasses. Thousands of years ago, in the land of Britannia, there existed a group of powerful people called the Seven Deadly Sins, who protected the land from many threats. And after they defeated both the Supreme Deity and the Demon King, the Sins were able to live full lives each having children who then went on to create bloodlines that stretched on for centuries. One of the sins, Gauther, the goat sin of lust, has his own children, but not in the traditional sense. You see, Gauther is a doll, so he can't have children naturally. However, with the help of his friend Merlin, he was able to make a copy of his own soul and transfer it into someone of the opposite gender and create a child out of it. The child would be part doll and have his personality and his magical powers, but would be able to have children naturally. And as the eons passed, each generation of Gauther's line became more and more human, to the point where you couldn't tell the difference physically, but you could more or less tell something was up due to their personalities. One way you can tell that they're Gauther's descendant is by the red goat-shaped symbol on the chest as a birthmark. Fast forward a few millennia and we reach modern day Japan, but this version of the country is in a world where over 80% of the population has a superpower called a quirk. One of these people is Izuku Minoriya, a boy in junior high school who has the power of Gauther, known as Invasion, which allows him to read, alter, or erase the memories of others as well as trap them in a mental prison of sorts. Now, unlike in canon, Izuku is very aloof and has a hard time understanding social interactions including humor, so much so that he would most likely be considered autistic. And he also has a habit of posing and entering people's memory without permission, more so for knowledge than anyone else which has earned him the name of the Goat Sin of Lust. As of right now, the boy was walking to school before he was abruptly stopped by a villain with a gigantification quirk who was attacking the street he was using to get to class. The boy looked at the scene in a curious confusion as he watched the hero, Kamui Woods, start to attack the villain with minimal effect. Seeing this as an opportunity for knowledge of the hero, Izuku pointed his finger at the villain while making it into a finger gun and then fired a pink energy bolt barely bigger than a pencil at him. Rewrite light! The villain froze as the green-haired boy's quirk took effect and then looked around in confusion as if he didn't understand what was going on. W what's going on? This distraction was all the Arbor hero needed to unleash his special move, the lacquered chain prison, which immediately immobilized the villain, allowing him to be arrested soon after. Interesting. It seems that my hypothesis about a lapse in memory causing a temporary bout of confusion allowed Kamui Woods the time he needed. And its ultimate move was indeed very interesting. I think I'd better make note of it. He said this while writing down in a notebook he had with him, which he used to write down notes about anything he could get his hands on. A couple hours later, he arrived at class, and his teacher had just asked him what they do for careers, which everyone replied to by saying they wanted to be heroes, all while showing their quirks. This was interrupted by a student named Katsuki Bakugo, or as Izuku called him, Kachan, who has an explosion quirk and was also a prodigy, as well as Izuku's childhood friend. In this timeline though, he is also the one who usually keeps Izuku from sifting through people's memories and helping him with certain social situations. He has just said that he's going to the national school, UA. Hey teach, don't let me in with these rejects. The other students all started glaring at him as the teacher also asked Izuku if he was also going to Yue. The green-haired boy nodded while striking an odd salute pose. Sing! Everyone was all understandably exasperated, 
The boy had always done things like that all the time. In this timeline, Bakugo and Izuku are still friends, but Bakugo also has a more big brother relationship with Izuku, since when they were little, he always had to keep the boy in line. Though, since Izuku's quirk only really works on memory and the mind, Bakugo still thinks Izuku is pretty hopeless, but never really makes it sound mean. Ha! <laughs> what are you gonna do, Deku? Make villains have short-term memory loss? Actually, I did that rather successfully recently. Before we get back into the story, I would like to say that we've got a second and third channel called Anime Deep Dive and Anime Theory. Anime Deep Dive is the channel based on a variety of anime lore, and Anime Theory focuses on the theories from plausible to way out there. If you're interested in content like this, make sure you click the icon on the top right corner, or check the description below for a link to the channel. After this, Everything goes the same as in canon up until the sludge villain attack. All Might saved Izuku before Izuku could try and use his quirk to rewrite the villain's memory and let him go. So All Might signed his notebook as a sort of apology. But before the pro hero could leave, Izuku followed him. At that moment, All Might's true form was revealed, and like in canon, All Might explained his injuries. Then Izuku decided to ask his hero a question he'd always wondered ever since he was little, since he was always told that his quirk wasn't good enough for hero work. All Might, if I may ask, do you think I could be a hero with a quirk like mine? What is your quirk, young man? It is called invasion. It allows me to read, remove, alter, or even trap someone in their own memories, or brainwash them. This information caused All Might to become surprised and silent for a moment. After a few seconds of silence, the man replied to the boy's question. To be honest, young man, I am not entirely sure. That quirk could be difficult if used improperly but it could be very useful for hero work. Izuku was happy to hear this, but was also unsure. So, what you're saying is that it's possible, but not exactly probable? I'm sorry, young man. I wish I could give you a better answer. This interaction ended with both parting, and Izuku feeling more confused than anything else, rather than how he felt in canon. And the sludge villain also escapes, but when Izuku arrives on the scene, unlike in canon, when he blindly runs, Thanks to his more or less emotionally aloof personality, he's able to clearly strategize and not only throw his backpack to distract the villain, but also use his move Rewrite Light to disorient the villains by erasing and rewriting his memory, making him let go of Bakugo briefly. As the villain was slowly starting to return to normal, he was about to attack both boys, but was blocked by none other than All Might, who had pushed past his limits to save the boy, having been inspired by the boy's bravery. Thank you, young man. You did well. And now I will do my very best to follow your example. The man raised his fist and punched down on the villain and sent it flying, scattering him everywhere. After this, both Bakugo and Izuku were praised for their quirks, and the latter for his heroic actions, which the boy took in with intrigue at how he seemed to be making everyone feel. And he also seemed to come off as blunt, which made the heroes feel put off, much to Bakugo's chagrin when he had explained what was up with his friends. As Izuku walked home, All Might stopped him, jumping in like cannon. And then he decides to speak with him about his words from earlier that day. Young man, I believe I should apologize to you for what I had said earlier. My answer was far too vague, and you deserved a direct answer. It's fine. After all, you're only speaking logically. Regardless, I know now, and I am here to tell you this answer. You can become a hero with a quirk like yours. I am fairly certain of that. Izuku's reaction was understandably surprised, but his usually expressionless face was now covered in an obvious mixture of joy and surprise. And as such, I deem you worthy of my power, and to become my successor, my quirk is yours to inherit. Izuku's rare expression soon changed from joy to confusion as he tilted his head to the side and looked at the number one hero, letting his words process through his brain. He adjusted his glasses as he answered, Forgive me for not understanding, but what do you mean by inherit? Thank you all for watching the video to the end. Now there are a few more things that I'd like to go over before the video ends. On behalf of We The Celestials, I'd like to thank the writer for this video, as well as the editor for this video. Their details will be in the description. If you're a voice actor, editor, or writer, or you're interested in becoming one of those, go to the Discord that is in the description of this video and hit up the head of one of those areas. We're always looking for more members to join us. That's it from us for today's video. So thank you all for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested and hit that like button if you like the video. Until next time, peace out mortals, have an amazing day. Eyes in the
sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand.